going to solve this quadratic equation by factoring. When we're asked to solve a quadratic equation, this is the same thing as asking to find the zeros of the quadratic equation or the roots of the quadratic or the x-intercepts. So all of these things mean the same thing. We're going to solve for x here when the equation is equal to 0 on one side. So if we're solving by factoring here, we see that this is a complex trinomial because the a value is not equal to 1. So our product is going to be a times c, which is 3 times negative 8 here, and that gives us negative 24. And our sum is positive 2. So we are looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to positive 2. And those two numbers are going to be positive 6 and negative 4. So now that we found those two numbers, we can go ahead and factor this using decomposition. So we're going to break up our middle term into uh, using the two numbers that we found. So this is going to become 3x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. So you see that the 2x became 6x minus 4x. Now we're going to factor by grouping, so I'm going to factor the first two terms only by pulling out a 3x. So 3x, and that leaves me with x plus 2. Then I'm going to factor the second two terms by pulling out a negative 2. Sorry, a negative 4. And that leaves me with x plus 2. Good. Now, by doing that, we see that we've created a common factor now of x plus 2. So we're going to pull that out to the front. And when I do that, I'm left with 3x minus 4 as my other factor. So now that I've factored the equation to solve for x, I know that that means that x plus 2 has to be equal to 0 or 3x minus 4 has to be equal to 0. So I solve these two linear equations and I get x equals negative 2 or x equals positive 4 over 3. And those are my two solutions for the quadratic equation or my two zeros or roots or x-intercepts.